Phlegm is a type of mucus produced in the lungs and lower respiratory tract. It's something that our bodies constantly produce, but it's most noticeable when we're sick or have a long-standing health condition. Though a healthy body needs some mucus, too much can be uncomfortable. Excess mucus is most commonly caused by infections such as the common cold or flu and allergies that irritate your nose, throat, or lungs. So now that we know what causes phlegm and mucus, we can look at how to get rid of it. Taking the following actions can help to eliminate excess mucus and phlegm. 1. Keeping the air moist. Dry air irritates the nose and throat, causing more mucus to form as a lubricant. Dry air may particularly be an issue in the winter when indoor heating can lower the humidity levels in your home. Placing a cool mist humidifier in your bedroom can promote better sleep, keeping your nose clear, and preventing a sore throat. 2. Drinking plenty of fluids. Your body needs to stay hydrated to keep mucus thin. When you're sick with a cold, drinking extra fluids can thin the mucus and help the sinuses to drain. It makes sense, really. The higher the water content of your mucus, the less gloopy it'll be. 3. Applying a warm, wet washcloth to your face. This can be a soothing remedy for a pounding sinus headache commonly associated with colds and other winter bugs. Inhaling through a damp cloth is a quick way to return moisture to your nose and throat. The heat will help to relieve pain and pressure. 4. Keeping your head elevated. When a buildup of mucus is particularly bothersome, it may help to sleep propped up on a few pillows or in a reclining chair. Lying flat can increase discomfort because it may feel as though mucus is collecting at the back of your throat. Sleeping with your head elevated prevents mucus from pooling in the back of your throat, helping you to breathe more easily at night. 5. Not suppressing a cough. It may be tempting to use suppressants when experiencing a nagging, phlegm-filled cough. However, coughing is your body's way of keeping secretions out of the lungs and throat. Use cough syrup sparingly, if at all. It's better to just cough it all out, when you're not surrounded by strangers anyway. 6. Discreetly getting rid of phlegm. When phlegm rises from the lungs into the throat, the body's likely trying to remove it. Spitting it out is healthier than swallowing it, which will most likely cause it to return to your throat again, this time armed with even more phlegm as backup. 7. Using a saline nasal spray or rinse. A saline spray or irrigator can clear out mucus and allergens from the nose and sinus. Look for sterile sprays that contain only sodium chloride and be sure to use sterile or distilled water when doing a nasal rinse. Note that some nasal sprays are only designed to be used for three days max and can become addictive. If your problem persists when three days are up, try something else or visit a doctor. 8. Gargling with salt water. Salt water gargling can soothe an irritated throat and may help to clear away residual mucus. One teaspoon of salt in a glass of warm water can be gargled several times a day. Just make sure not to swallow it. It won't taste pleasant and it isn't good for your health. 9. Using eucalyptus. Eucalyptus products have been used to subdue coughs and reduce mucus for years. They're usually applied directly to a person's chest. You can also add a few drops of eucalyptus oil to a diffuser or a warm bath to help clear your nose. Eucalyptus oil is available to buy in most health stores and online. 10. Not smoking and avoiding secondhand smoke. It sounds like an obvious one, as we all know that smoking and secondhand smoke cause the body to produce more phlegm and mucus. As the cilia recover and the mucus is cleared from your lungs, you might cough more than usual after quitting smoking, perhaps for several weeks. But your cough, phlegm, and most other respiratory symptoms, such as shortness of breath, will continue to improve for up to a year after stopping cigarette smoking. That's pretty incredible. But of course, quitting smoking isn't easy. Talk to your doctor if you're serious about quitting today. 11. Minimizing the use of decongestants. While they dry secretions and can alleviate a runny nose, decongestants may make it harder to get rid of phlegm and mucus. You wouldn't think it, but using a decongestant can make the stuffiness worse in the long run, and many people find that their mucus becomes even worse when they stop using them. There are plenty of products out there that don't contain decongestants, and they're much safer to use as a long-term solution. 12. Keeping allergies in check. 
Seasonal allergies can lead to a runny or stuffy nose, as well as excess mucus and phlegm. If you treat your allergy with over-the-counter tablets or home remedies, it'll probably be enough to ward off your mucus. The same goes for avoiding irritants like chemicals, fragrances, and pollution, which can irritate your nose and throat and cause your body to produce more mucus. 13. Taking a hot bath or shower. Time spent in a steam-filled bathroom will help to loosen and clear mucus in the nose and throat. Washing your face with hot water from a shower can also bring relief from sinus pressure. Hey, who needs an excuse to have a nice, relaxing bath or shower? 14. Eating plenty of fruit. One study found that a diet rich in fiber from fruit and possibly soy may lead to fewer respiratory problems linked to phlegm. With that said, though, you might want to avoid fruits that are known to cause acid reflux if you think that's causing your increase in phlegm and mucus. People prone to heartburn should avoid trigger foods and ask a doctor about proper management. 15. Consuming honey for phlegm relief. Honey is a natural humectant that can dilute or loosen mucus and make it easier to cough up. This remedy has been found particularly useful in reducing wet cough in children. You could either choose to consume a tablespoon of honey as it is, or for something a little more exciting, prepare a soothing tea by mixing a tablespoon of lemon juice with a tablespoon of honey and adding it to a glass of hot water. 16. Consuming ginger tea and candies. Ginger has been extensively used for easing a cough, sore throat, and chest congestion, but there isn't enough scientific evidence to confirm its therapeutic effects. Nevertheless, plenty of people think that ginger offers considerable relief when addressing their phlegm-related complaints. The effectiveness of ginger in curbing excessive mucus is thought to be due to its antibacterial and anti-inflammatory properties. Just chop a thumb-sized piece of ginger and pop it into a cup of boiling water. Wait for the water to cool slightly. Then drink up. 17. Eating spicy foods. One simple way to speed up phlegm removal is by eating foods that contain a heavy dose of chili. The characteristic heat of chili peppers comes from their main bioactive component, capsaicin. This heat can help dissolve and loosen the thickened phlegm, making it easier to cough out. Be aware, though, that while capsaicin helps in thinning the mucus, it also stimulates the production of extra mucus, resulting in an increasingly runny nose. 18. Steaming with essential oils. Steam inhalation is a standard method for clearing phlegm buildup in the respiratory tract, but it might prove even more effective if you add a few drops of therapeutic essential oils to the water. These oils are extracted from medicinal plants and show significant health-promoting effects that can help you to clear your mucus effectively. The best essential oils for mucus are peppermint oil, tea tree oil, lavender oil, and rosemary oil. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. I'm sure you're going to enjoy our next video on 16 powerful home remedies for strep throat. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.